You're listening to Truly Unruly with Marcus and Jessica Trufant. We're back with another installment of Truly Unruly with Marcus and Jessica Trufant. My name is Kel, Marcus, Jessica. How you guys doing? What's good, broski? We're doing good. The kids don't have school tomorrow, so... Yay! We're winning, I guess. That means they're home all day, <laughs> so maybe we're losing. Okay. I'm excited to discuss this list with you guys. And it's a list that went viral. Um, oh it is a list of places that women absolutely refuse to go on a first date to. Um, and it was, it was, I forgot who compiled this list, but it was, it was, it was, just, it was this it's big shameful, thing. shameful, but really, I'm ready. Really, you're bringing this I am ready. bullshit I'm ready. already? Yeah, I'm bringing all the bullshit. So be uh, ready for all the smoke. Oh um, take a shot, Marcus. There you go. Mm-hmm. Here's what's dope about this list. You guys' favorite place that you guys used to frequent all the time when, uh, when Jess had to pay for herself. I didn't forget about that. Is number one on the list. Cheesecake? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cheesecake. Was that with me factory. or was that with somebody else? I made you pay on our it, first like date? when you're younger, it's it's considered kind of high class. So <laughs> I enjoyed Cheesecake Factory for a long time. Well into my I would say late twenties, late twenties, yeah. yeah. potentially early thirties. But yeah, I no, I think we were done with Cheesecake Factory by right, then. Yeah, shout out to Cheesecake Factory's shout out. ranch. Big shout out on point. Okay, okay, you guys want to hear this list? Though? I'm gonna just run through these real quick. I just want to yeah. get just quick responses. This is funny. So it was number one, Cheesecake Factory. Mm-hmm. Number two, Applebee's. Number threes. Chili's number four, Chipotle. Then it goes Olive Garden. Then it's the movies. The next one is your house. This one's funny. This is weird. Any fast food chain, but then they go to list off a bunch of fast food chains after this. So Buffalo Wild Wings, Wingstop, <laughs> Red Lobster, a buffet, IHOP, Denny's, the gym, church, Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee dates, ice cream dates, family functions, movie night, meaning Netflix, Hulu, etc. Somewhere that requires a long drive, bowling, nightclubs, hookah bars, a bar just for drinks, Waffle House, sports events. I like how sports events are <laughs> dead last. <laughs> I don't like any of this. I think it's... Uh... I think it's blasphemous, but we'll. Well, it sounds. Let's like get into it. It's let's, like let's, the, let's. the places for all people ages twenty to maybe thirty. I think this is a list. We're putting too much pressure on the guys. Who says that these women on first dates deserve anything? Right. Mm. I know that you want to make a first impression. You want to come off cool, but you don't have to break the bank to do that. I know we're living in this social media. You're breaking the bank at Cheesecake Factory and Olive Garden? I'm saying if you don't go there, in my opinion, it's saying that we need to go to these other type of restaurants, these steakhouses, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe it has nothing to do with you. Maybe it's just our preference it has nothing to do with what you we want you to pay for and all that kind of shit maybe this is our idea of great first dates if you can go there want to go on your own i will agree with all of that but if you can't go to those places on your own and you're putting this pressure on men to take you to these places i'm upset i don't like it and it's not cool Excuse me, I'm not asking you to take me to the Cheesecake Factory. What are you asking for? I am asking you to take me to John Howie, to a steakhouse, to Nobu, to all of these places. But my point is, can you go on your own? Can you go on your own? We're asking for the Cheesecake Factory. No, the point of this is, is that women are saying that these are the worst places to go on a first date. Oh, it's the worst places. Yeah, so my thing is, they're not going, Jess. 
That's what I'm saying. <gasps> Girls and minute. women are upset okay, about totally this. Wrong, yeah, I so like, my thing I like is the cheesecake. I like the Olive Garden. Okay, the worst place. Okay, well then, flip it. Yeah. Can you go on your own though? <laughs> Can you go on your own? Can you sustain that? Do you go to John Howie, Daniels, um, Nobu every weekend on your own on lunch dates? It's just no, you and the girls. We have okay, dreams. well, we don't have put the pressure on the guy. Then. We want to do that. Can take us to the to um, prove like your I worth. Said, first. The steakhouse prove to your Cantalus, worth. and to all of these. Whoa! Time out! Time out! Time out! Did you just, I heard what you just said. Nigga, you just did not just say canless. No one's I taking you exactly. to nobody's canless on the first date. What? Unless you're doing it like that. Unless you're doing it like that. We're not doing seven courses, <laughs> 800, 900 a person at nobody's canless, bro. That's what I'm saying. We're it's not doing media. that on the first date. And social media got everybody confused mm. and thinking that the baller lifestyle is for everybody. And that is... The miseducation of Lauren Hill, <laughs> everything, right? It's not real life, man. We look at social media. It's a highlight film. It's everybody's highlight film. Ain't nobody doing that on a regular basis. It's not. We're just looking at what we, like you said, what we see on TV, you know, movies, hear all this rap shit, like, uh, you know, Future does rap Nobu, 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 Nobu. <laughs> and when we go to Nobu, that's all I can say is Nobu, Nobu. Because it's like, ah, Nobu. Um, so, I mean, again, who are you surveying? Well, like a bunch, like who It's are a you thing, surveying? Jess. I know you're not really on social media like that, but it's a thing. It's going viral. People have been shitting on the Cheesecake Factory for first <laughs> dates as as if that's like, hey, you dragging somebody through the mud if you take them to the Cheesecake Factory. I would take somebody to the Cheesecake Factory now and I would really enjoy myself. I, I would might, have drinks. At, at now, I might take it as a sign of disrespect. Why? <laughs> Why? 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 Because everybody goes to the Cheesecake Factory. Like, legit every... That's like that's like a normal occurrence. Cheesecake Factory is like the McDonald's of restaurants. But what, right? No, I would say like Joey's is. But like, what? <laughs> Kel. what? <laughs> I like Joey's. We just had Joey's the other day, and it was fire. Yeah, Joey was, Joey's like a sophisticated Hooters. Um, shout out to Joey's. Nothing wrong with Joey's. But look, my we thing is this, Joey's. though, was like, what do you mean just like everyone goes to Cheesecake Factory? I don't, these are all, I mean, everyone goes to all restaurants, right? So like, no. why do we got to break the bank on a first date? Because here's the thing. What you ladies have to keep in mind is that you're setting a high standard that eventually later on you're going to get let down. Because every time we go out to eat, we're not going to Nobu. Every time we go to eat, we're not going to Canlis. So you're going to try to create this impossible, in, like, imagine, I guess, imaginary standard that is not going to be held up. And you're going to be disappointed really, really fast. So just go with the Cheesecake Factory. Or I'll just take you to 7-Eleven because 7-Eleven didn't make the list. I think 7-Eleven still has a shot. Okay? Like, And they got wild. nachos, man. They still got the cheese and shit at uh. <laughs> Well, maybe Cheese it's not. Chili. <laughs> maybe it's not like the expectation, like to hold it. Maybe it's just a test. Take me to Daniel's, and and once you take me to Daniel's, I know that you have that in you, right? I know that it's. I know that it's inside, so I can settle for this stuff outside of there as long. <laughs> As I when I want I to go. I got a question. No, I want you to finish. Go ahead. But I do got a question. Afterwards. To fancier places. What's another? What's that other steak? There's, well, yeah. Uh, Ruth People Chris, still going to even Ruth though Chris I don't really care for that. All that kind of um, stuff. Shout out to Ruth Chris. Anyways. Um, yeah. We, I want to know that you're capable of doing these things. How do we know as men that you are worthy of... Mm, let's go these upper echelon restaurants why right? do you need to be worthy you don't have to be worthy I don't but need if to i'm be worthy for shit if i'm not doing it like that and i don't have the money like that why would i 
kill myself to take you on a first date. I'm going to do what I can, right? And if and well, if doing if what I can, you don't have money like that. I'm pretty sure I can fucking sniff you out. <laughs> and then the date is over. <laughs> we yeah. are not going on a date, period. Because we can't date people with no money. It's never about energy and all this other stuff anymore. And that's the that's the cold part of the game, right? That's the unfortunate part. But it's still dudes out there that got game and is making it happen and may not have it like that in their pockets, but they still making it happen. So shout out to you brothers out there that's making it happen. And these chicks is looking for the bag in all the wrong places, but they... That sounds like a poor me. That sounds like a pity. They found a real one because it's too much about money all the time. And that's the problem well, with relationships nowadays. It's, it's all just, about the bag. I got to get the bag. And it, if you ain't got the bag, it's not right. cool. But and it's that's, really not even shitty. about that. It is you about that. If you can't go to, to go Cheesecake to Factory. Our, besides for our date, our first date, when this man with money took me to Bahama Breeze. It's not on the list. Go ahead. Well, that, well. I was, I bet I you it would be on restaurant. the list if more people went there. Um, I, in, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And then he took me to the Cheesecake Factory a million times. I enjoyed it. You know, I, it's not always all about that. Well, even before he took me to the Cheesecake Factory a million times, our best date was sitting at his house talking. It wasn't going and having fancy dinners. I mean, and taking on, pictures and videos and I shit. I mean, he used to take us, posting where did we go? It. What was that one restaurant that wasn't really good, but we always used to go and it was like a treat. The Mexican place, but we would get, no, no, it was wings. after you would play and it was like, uh, we I would know. get a steak and, I now that I think about it, I don't even know. And we would get the well done. What steak. kind of steak that was that we were eating. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's not always about that. But it is. It a is nowadays. Different though. time. Yeah, it is nowadays. It is yes, a different and that's time. an unfortunate thing. So I'm not surprised about that list. I'm not Shoot. sure what that was. My my thing is is I feel like half the women that agree with this list. Or women that can't even afford to eat at these super high end places. I'm exactly not about to sit here and, and 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 have some chick that sleeps with a mattress on the floor try to get at me about where she wants to go and eat at. Ma, you can't even afford a bed frame. Like, what are we talking Damn about it. right now? You know, but what maybe I'm she wants those experiences. That's maybe not she anybody wants else's responsibility, like though. Yeah. So what if she wants to experience? She better it. bust she it open at the end of the night or something. <laughs> Come on, Kel. Don't Come put on. the pressure on I'm the man. I'm not fucking nah. for food. A lot of chicks are, though, right? Well, <laughs> a lot of chicks are, and that's the unfortunate thing. No, it should not be like that. Let's vibe. Sign. Let's- <laughs> we'll fuck for food. Okay. And you know, let's talk and let's get the vibe and let's uh, just have a little back and forth. Let's do something. It's not all about the 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 perks and the clout. Oh, okay. Yeah. I went that to this restaurant. Good. Do you guys, it's coming from two dudes perspectives. Yeah. That sounds all fun. It's not all about, you know. it shouldn't be. Tell it us the women's be. side though. Tell us the women's side though. Of it shouldn't be. I'm just saying maybe some women dream of that kind of stuff. So what? And want, Everybody got dreams though. And maybe some women expect it fucking downright flat out. If you're not taking me here, we're not compatible, but at the same time, those women are probably alone. <laughs> so, you know, you pick your fucking poison. Hey, man, I don't know. It's, it's different out here right now. But at my age, don't you dare take me to the fucking Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> don't do it. Don't. That is... It, it would the date would end before I had that on started. the books for next week. Shit. Uh, <laughs> cheesecake factory. Let's take it back. And you would shit on that if I took you to Cheesecake Factory. We don't even now? eat at the Cheesecake Factory anymore. Mm. I mean, it, we it wore out its fucking welcome. We were taking <laughs> our kids there. We're done with the Cheesecake Factory. Let's bring it back. I think it'd be good for us to go back to where we started. Well, we eat at McDonald's and shit. So. That's what I'm saying. So what's the big deal? I had a question, you guys. Do you guys really think bowling is a bad first date? That sounds fun. No, I do not think bowling is a bad first date. But like we said, everybody's into, 
I need the top tier. I need the best. I want to eat these at these fancy restaurants. Do you know how much fucking fun bowling is? Yeah. And eating. Do you know how bomb some bowling food is? (laughs) Some of the fries, like some of the shit. What? So, I mean, I don't know if it's like completely sanitary in there, but um, I think bowling is fun. I think dates where you actually are active and I just think it's fun to get out there and bowl and what else is fun? Go skating, stuff like that. It's like, I don't know. That's stuff I would like to do because that's just my personality. But some people are right. Securing the dinner bag. I got a question for both you guys, Jess and Kel. Is this a, a us thing? Is this a cultural thing um, that we can't do normal stuff and we look down on the normal stuff because um, I guess we want to get away from that. It has to be top tier. It got to be, um, it got to be a Bentley. It got to be Ferrari. It can't be no normal type of situation. It can't be Cheesecake Factory. It got to be the top of the line steakhouse. Well, I think, and it's, nobody, a, and I think it's a young thing. Most people not doing it like that. Even if you're young, young thing. though. That's a lie, though. You don't think our, what did our daughter, our daughter just went on a date. She went to fucking Lucky Strike to play video games and then Tavern Hall. I mean, Good. it was nothing fancy. Because I we just, taught her right. I mean, not to be on no bullshit and be expecting. Uh, now, wait a minute. We have our other daughter, Kennedy, who I could see her and possibly Kimora. So funny story. Kenny went to a sleepover and it was at a hotel. And the next day they woke up and they, you know, it was time for breakfast. And she was like, can we just order room service? (laughs) <laughs> um, no, you cannot just order room service at somebody else's birthday for probably six girls. Do you know how much that would cost? So it, I could see her doing that. And you know what? It's all about how you're groomed as well, right? With the parents and all that kind of stuff. If all they go to are fancy restaurants and they don't eat at cheesecake and they don't eat at Olive Garden and all that kind of stuff naturally their child or as an adult, they're not going to want to do those things, but I don't know. What about the person though? But there is the social media aspect that has just kind of blown all morals, all standards out of the fucking world. What about the person? We're talking about dates here, first dates and getting to know someone. First impressions are everything. All this, everything. And and it's all about money. And some guys may play the game. Okay. I got money. I do have money, but I want to see if this chick is really on some real or she on some BS. You don't test people. That's why not? Who? What? From a woman's perspective, you're trying to get a free You may not understand. Yeah. You may not understand, but why would you just want to throw a bag at a woman that you don't know? What is wrong with wanting to get a free meal? You know what? What is wrong wrong with that? If a woman wants you to take her to a fancy steakhouse, Maybe that woman becomes the fucking love of your life. Again, you could say it on the opposite. I'm taking you to cheesecake. I'm taking you to McDonald's. Right, and I can't are even say cool? that was me because I went and to are you basic? The cheesecake. Or, or um, are you not basic, but can you just be on some cool stuff, on some down to earth? It don't always have to be on 10. Well, maybe you you show that woman that, that it doesn't have to be about this. It doesn't have to be about that. It's about... The That's why you take them to Cheesecake first and see how they act. <laughs> or you take them to McDonald's first, see how they act. If they acting <laughs> shitty and they got an attitude and they acting all this and if you oh, it's time to go. If you took me to McDonald's and- for a first date and I'm not 16 to 12 years old. <laughs> McDonald's is a stretch. It would never. It would be over. A McDonald's is a stretch, but I'm saying... You know what I'm saying. What do you right? think of me by taking me to McDonald's? Like you, I don't know you. I don't know you. I'm trying to get to know you. I'm trying to see how you're going to react. I'm trying to get to know you too. Okay, well. And what you're working with. All right, well, if we're playing the game then. And if I don't like what I see, all oh, you. But then you can really. You're extra bougie you like that. You can really get burned though because you have this dude take you to Daniel's. And then when it comes time to do it again. 
this dude doesn't even got it like that. And he was trying to impress her. You're blaming it on the women. But he tried to act like he had more than what he really had. Because it was so much pressure. It was front. so much pressure. Now, I can't even no, go on a date if I don't take you to Daniels or this. That's your pressure on yourself. No, that's just you. Just You're made trying it. to impress this woman. So you take this woman to Daniels and she's like, oh, shit. I this I STK like this. STK. STK. There we go. No and then boo. when I'm like, all right, let's try STK. And you're like, ah, I'm not feeling so good this week. I'm a little sick. So can we just come to my house? And uh, no, yeah, we cannot. I'll make you a steak. I mean, in a baked potato. No, we question. I have a question. Question here. What if Jess, a guy straight up, a chick's like, hey, I want to go eat at STK or any of these high end restaurants. And he just flat out says, no. I can't justify paying those prices. He might have it like that, but he just says, well, I don't justify, I, I can't justify paying that much for food because I just feel like that's a waste of money. Okay. Well, I would probably still. You a lie. Are you shaking your, <laughs> once again. You a lie. You, you. <laughs> You took I'm gonna me let you to finish the Cheesecake your Factory. That was back then. No. As a matter of fact, he took everybody he dated to oh the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> it's coming out now. Oh, the slander. So it, it wasn't even special. But you know what? To take though? me there. That's all some men know. I didn't know about high end restaurants. I don't come from that. I don't. Right. Well, neither did know, I. Right? So, so I was like, yeah. what? Fuck yeah. Cheesecake Factory. Cha ching. Um, but yeah, no, if he says he doesn't want to pay those types of prices for food i mean i would be like okay but then i would be like <laughs> what if he said let's go dutch on this one i ain't got it but let's split it up a little bit on this day <laughs> what? you know we've already been through that what it's we already went through that. this, Kel, when he was making us go Dutch. And if you want it so I bad, and this is what you love, and this is what you I used to, and this is your standard, <laughs> this is your standard, let's go Dutch. Hey, we're new in this relationship. I don't know you like that. I don't, I don't have it like that. I don't well, have now, it like that. I don't think there, it's changed from when we were dating Shit. 18 years ago. Yeah. Right? Do Going you deserve Dutch, it? I would want to go Dutch. Like, I don't need you to pay for shit. Let's go Dutch. Now, 18 years ago. I don't know if that's the thing now, Dutch. Uh, um, Jess, the, the energy I'm getting from the social webs is that these women expect everybody to yeah. be like the stars that are on IG, the okay, well, Drakes and the Futures and stuff. You're that's getting your fucking facts from so surveying social media which isn't reality in general I know, but people think it's reality and you know that and we both know that that people look at these highlight films and they think this is real life and it's not i know it's not real life but the fact that we're even discussing an abstract <laughs> uh topic it's like really is that we're getting it from fucking social media are you kidding me but it's fair um but i bet you if you went outside of social media a lot of these places would be absolutely acceptable. How, how do you guys feel agree. about the uh, a, a buffet? You know, like a good buffet, that usually be costing like $50, $60 a person. Uh, and it's all you can eat. You know what going Salty's to the buffet? Salty's is like $100 a person, yeah. actually. A casino buffet, though. Let's make it or one authentic of them Chinese and let's make joints. it real. I've yeah. actually been... Chinese joint. Like like are they got them like in what like in Lakewood they got them is Lakewood they got a lot of them out here yeah all those yeah <laughs> well I think that rings. depends on how greedy you are like if you took me to a buffet all right all right I'm about to I'm about to fuck every I'm gonna try a little bit of everything fuck everything up get my money's worth now yeah. some people might not well it depends. If you're going to, if you take me to like old country buffet, okay, we're not going to have a date. But soft serve ice cream was fire at old country buffet. Go ahead. And the chocolate milk too. Yeah. It's fire. I agree. If you take me to Salty's or to a more sanitary buffet. No sanitary. Didn't say sophisticated. 
Sanity. The fact that he washed dishes at Old Country Buffet, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite certain. For the record, when I said I wanted to quit, they begged me not to quit. That I was one of the best mean, dishwashers my point they have is, ever seen. You at were Old in Country the Buffet. back washing dishes right, yeah. at Old Country Buffet, and I'm pretty sure you didn't give a fuck. Um, I'm pretty <laughs> thorough on everything that I do. I was. I was pretty intent in making sure that the, the, um, the forks and the plates and everything was properly sanitized oh, under, um, through the machine. Even though, like, some days I came in, there was rats in the sink and rats on the floor. Oh, but um, I did my job well. Ew! You never told me. Ew! Again! I would... No. That's so nasty, actually. That's... <laughs> Shout out! No, I'm not even getting old country buffet. There is old no, country buffet on that's a like Sunday. Obsolete. Is that still Sunday. here? Church folk was thick up in there. And My I, grandma used to yeah. love. It was intense. Old country buffet, and it was in the Factoria Mall. Friday night lights. Oh, I remember that one, Jess. Football, mm-hmm. and then old country buffet. We Saturday, that Sunday one. for me. That was my job. That was my weekend. Shout out to me. Hey, wow. quick question. There's this one on here that says. Somewhere that requires a long drive. So what if I'm taking you somewhere nice, but it's just further away? Does that not count? Somewhere that's a long drive. Well, you know, for some, you need an escape route. And if you're hella far away, (laughs) or if you don't like the conversation on a date, I don't want to be far away with you. And you're going to drive me far away. What are you going to do? Are we going to like take an exit? I'm like, where the fuck are we at? And then that's that's the end. Right. So that's fair. That's a good point. What about ice cream dates? That's not cute anymore. You go out and grab some ice cream and sit and talk (laughs) and eat ice cream together, sit on the curb and talk about your future and. One of my friends said this. One of my friends who I was the officiant for their wedding, she was like, her and her dude, their first date was them. They were in L.A. sitting on the curb eating tacos from the taco truck. And they said it was the best fucking first date ever. I'm trying to do a heart. If you take me to a taco truck, that is when I'm likely to bust it wide open afterwards. (laughs) Seriously. Take me to a fucking taco truck. That's fair. Sit on the curb and have good conversation. It's not in a restaurant. It's not in this weird environment where people are continually coming up to you and disrupting your conversation or your eyes are wandering and looking. Mm. Yes. So I guess taco truck number one subjective to the person what they may like. So this list is um, a little skewed, but I think some of the principles still remain not everybody's gonna like a taco truck though some women not gonna like a taco, but people with good sense today's women think that's too cheap though again it's about the energy you're bringing with it's about the presentation i'm a uh, i'm a boss and i'm with a boss guy i'm a boss lady i'm that chick so i can never go to a food truck on the first day i gotta be here because that's all i do but i can't do that on my own. Well, like I don't I really said, even have a if job. You're not but, that chick, but that's what I'm saying, though. Don't, it's like, don't try to be that chick. Everything is misconstrued. If you're not it's that chick, sick. please lower your expectations. Not even that, but be honest, though. Be honest and be realistic. I mean, but you might be surprised. Lower your expectations, and you might be surprised what you get, right? You're not that chick. I mean, you don't want to date dudes that are not that. You would be surprised. Give everybody a try, a chance. If a dude wants to take you to taco truck or cheese, get cake. ice cream. Try not to focus on what's wrong with ice cream. Again. Try not to focus on where you're going. Try to focus on the person. Right. And what he has to offer in his conversation. I do agree with that. I'm saying this, but nobody fucking goes by that. But still. Seriously, (sighs) even though I feel like ice cream dates are for teenagers and fun things with your friends when you're even grown ups. And that's what's wrong with us. And we need some ice cream. I would like to go to dinner somewhere and then go get ice cream. It's too much pressure, man. It's too much less. 
make things lighter. It's too much pressure. It it is. Don't, yeah, let's You're go right. get ice cream and let's talk and let's have a good time. Let's get to know each other. Right. right? I may have money. I may have zero money, but I like you. I think you like me. Well, so if you have zero money, we can't really go anywhere. So what? I know that's like a lost art. I mean, you say that, then the girls is gone, right? But so what? I don't got no money. I'm a good dude, though, and maybe I'm working. And then you like um, you like Calvin from the hood, and you get the job, and then you that you on this glow up, and then you go to the top, and then all these girls come. How is Calvin supposed to feel? Calvin's not going to be like, okay, I know you talked shit about me back then. I didn't have nothing, and now I got it, and now you're jumping on. I'm going to kick it with you, but I'm going to do you like dirt, though. And after I'm done with you, I'm done with you because of how you treated me. So it's right? like Mike Jones. Back, back then, then, they didn't want me. Now, now I'm hot. hot. They all on me. Well, mm. yeah. Scripture. That's scripture. That's scripture. That should be in huh? a good book. Well, I'm sorry. This guy really said Calvin from the Chappelle show. That took me back. All I can think of, hey, fry guy. Yeah. Hey, you little bitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's so funny. That was such a good skit. Um, well, and my thing is, too, though, is like, when I be looking at this kind of stuff and like think about the kind of women that even contributed to this, I'm like, some of y'all, that's some of y'all are worth Red Lobster. That's what you're worth. Like, you're worth Applebee's. You're yeah. worth Chili's. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't sit here and, and be Hamburger Helper and be talking about how you want steak. Like, yeah, you're right. No. no. You're like, right. You eat top ramen it, with eggs and celery cut up in it three nights a week. That's but there's gross. nothing wrong with that. Well, Kale, is there like- something wrong with that? Wait, I'm saying there's nothing wrong with that. I would fool with a chick that was on that if she was real and... All that kind of stuff. There is nothing wrong with that. So you're good with the chick I'm with sorry. the mattress on the floor? Um, he would be. She don't have to be filth. Everybody's not <laughs> able to, <laughs> Kale. Just because you got a mattress on the floor, that doesn't mean you're filth. That means you're on your way up. And you're not where you want to be yet. Right. Some right? people live on a mattress on the floor because they are working for something better they're working they're okay. saving so they can right. get a house and that's, so they and can that's, take you their to bed the frame is coming it's coming no, soon and, hey listen and that's totally fine but you can't be that person and be telling me that you have a standard of what restaurant it is that i have to take right. you on a first very day. true agree right. that's that's all Agreed. i'm saying right I'm, there's nothing wrong with having i've had a mattress on the floor back in the day it happens right. you know right. what i'm saying you can I mean, weed again, them out like when wait. you go to dinner and they don't when it's like the fillet is on the menu and they're like, yeah, I don't really want the fish, you know, stuff like that. It's like, uh. you got to bring that back just for the people that don't understand that. I want the fillet and the, they'd be like the fillet, the cut of steak, a fillet. Right. And you look at the menu and like, I don't want no fish as in fillet. o fish as in filleted fish or fillet. o fit like either way. But, you know, it's stuff like that. You know what my thing was back in like way back in the day when I took girls on dates and I knew that like I'm not gonna say they weren't shit, but like they just like <laughs> you're yeah, saying you that. are saying it, Kill. <laughs> okay, you just fine, said it. Whatever. Fine, whatever. <laughs> was it was how girls ordered food. That was one of my deal breakers. So if you were like, Can I get, let me get ah. this isn't gonna work out. <laughs> This isn't gonna work. As soon as somebody says, "Can I get?" As soon as you're they like, do it, I was. I don't, and in my head, I'm like, "All right, this is gonna be our one and only dinner," because like I, I just I knew what time it was, and then I'd order and I'd be like, uh, "May I have blah 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 blah." But with, whenever I heard, "Can I get?" or "Let me get," it was over. I knew what I was dealing with. No home right. training. Right, you're dealing. No, no home not training. home training. You maybe you're dealing with somebody that never was able to go to restaurants like that. So just like the whole, I, I don't want fish, filleted fish. Right. It's the um, experience, man. It's the experiences. And maybe, Kel, you could have been that one to show her, um, teach. Right. And, and nah, kinda, nah, 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 baby. It's yeah. not, can I get? It's, may I have, yeah. or blah, blah, And the blah, fillet blah. is not the fillet no, of baby, fish. No, baby, it's not that's fillet a cut of steak. fish. It's not fillet o fish. Yeah. It's a cut uh, of steak. Everybody comes uh, that, from different backgrounds. That was no, your I, dad's job, and he failed. Sorry. 
I remember when I was first going to restaurants, I was asking for um, steak, fucking well done. I was asking for Heinz fifty seven. I'm asking for any one of these is top notch restaurants, right? Disrespect to the chef, left. But I didn't know. I didn't know that, Kel, because my dad would make the steaks and we would get the steak sauce and we would do this. My dad would put the hot sauce in the Heinz fifty seven and then it kind of make his own thing. So I was like, yeah, his dad's steaks were. Well done, but they were like well. They were good. Tender, done. They were like the I don't time. even know how to describe. So it's it. all about your background, and you kind of live and you learn. But that's why I'm saying though. There's like it's no grace nowadays. If it ain't no, the not. top tier, then hey man, I can't mess with you, and I don't approve of that. I don't that's think only that's like cool. people that are like social media. Like I don't know. Social Jess. media I think it's a people thing. just like that. I think it's people thing. just like that. Okay, there are people just like that, but I think social media exacerbates that. True. Everything. If social media pushes right? everything to the top. Right. I think the whole well done steak thing, I think that's a black folks thing because like it I is. feel like my my mama and them were like that. And like they'd be like, if if I made a steak or something and it was like medium, they'd be like, look at all that blood. And I'm like, right. I don't like, I don't want right. no salmonella. Okay, first of all. <laughs> But it's like <laughs> right, yeah. my dad used to cook oh, his steak. You're gonna steaks. get sick if you don't cook that steak all the way through. Right, yeah. right. And what? even our kids, I'm like, okay, <clears throat> meat steak like that. Some people pretty much eat it raw, like very rare. So yeah. it is rare that you, I think, that you are gonna get some type of sickness. You know, well, anyways, you're not gonna die. From eating a bloody steak. I don't think. And you I don't know, know what Cassius asked me the other day? What? They're speaking to kids and what they, um, I took them to the movies and you know, I ordered a hot dog, right? Mm-hmm. And he was Ugh. like, are hot dogs made of dog? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> no. They caught me off guard. They're I, made of all different parts right. of, well, if you eat. I had a hard time explaining exactly what I, a hot dog is made of too, but um, I got through it. I struggled through it, and I. It's think just you more of it. a name because there's beef hot dogs. Yeah. That are made from I don't know various parts of a cow. And I was like, no, it's not a dog. And he was like, why not? And then I struggled through that explanation as well, <laughs> but uh, I I did get through it. <laughs> Parenting. Where 101. did the name hot dog come from? It comes from a fucking pig. So a hot allegedly maybe a hot pig. Pig and bones. That's and just skin like Jello. And, Do you know that's the the gelatinous parts, like it, all the shit from pit. Yeah. Did you know that Jello comes from pig parts? Yeah. All I have to say, Cash caught me off guard. He. It put a little dye. I'm usually not on my there. heels with the kids, but I was like, oh. That's funny. He's very inquisitive right now yeah. and asking. Asking some questions that we cannot answer. <laughs> it's like, Cassius said, Daddy, would you rather... <laughs> uh, oh, that's what he's been doing. Go to jail or would you rather... What did he say? Go to jail for the rest of your not have your taste life. buds for like... Right. And ever like, or something like that. I was like... Yeah, he was like, would you rather not taste or would you rather have your hand tied behind your back? forever i'm like well i'd rather have my fucking hand tied behind my back and he was like well how would you carry things i'm like i'd find a way (laughs) i'd find a way but uh, oh man okay so pretty much the moral of the story is with this list is i don't know if you don't got it like that don't be looking and looking for it or seeking it i don't know what do you the moral of the story is like you just never know Somebody that can take you to, you know, Daniel's Canalist. They could be the most horrible, assholish person ever. And that person that takes you to the Olive Garden, I'm not even going to put like fast food in there, or the Cheesecake Factory, they could be your soulmate. Be open to everything if i could say that be open to everything you just never fucking know and when you hold those high expectations like that you're gonna get let down for some reason every time so 
be open. Right. Everybody has everybody has something to offer and it's not necessarily in the monetary form. So be open. Where are we says putting the girl that married an NFL player? <laughs> where are we putting the value <laughs> at? What where do we hold our value? Is yeah. it all about the money and what you could do with for me, the lifestyle that may come with that the clout that may come with that how i'm going to be able to show off to my peers or how i'm doing it or how me and my man is, is doing it or is there really a foundation there as you date as you begin to grow right. i know that first dates and you know the courting phase is a little different but as you grow what's the relationship really about right can you spend time with that person can you do normal stuff and have a good time man and i right. think um a lot of that is getting lost, but maybe it's not. But that's what it should be about when it comes to relationships. And yeah. that's just me speaking from my um, soul, right? Funny. So it's like when yeah. you die and you like you, you write your obituary, somebody writes your obituary, like what? You spent your life chasing money or you're known for having lavish dinners and all this shit. No, you want to be known for making an, well, maybe this is just so far. Maybe I'm going so far left. A little morbid, a little morbid. Yeah. Not morbid, yeah. but I'm just saying, like, what do you want your legacy to be? Do you want it to be that you were fucking chasing cannabis when you should have just been at the cheesecake factory and just being content with that? Like, come on, come on, people. <laughs> At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, oh, nothing, shit. nothing fucking matters. Going to Canalis and all, it doesn't fucking matter. No, boo, no, boo, it no, really boo, doesn't. No, boo, no, boo, no, boo. So yeah, I, I, I'd be damned if I have some chick in some H and M dress demanding me to take her to Canalis. <laughs> I'd be sick. You know how sick I'd be. That's what I'm saying, though. Cal, I'd you're a part bro. of the problem. That's the miseducation. You are a part bro. of the problem. You're the reason why. You're the reason. For what? No. How am I the problem? Kayla's saying the problem? it doesn't add up. If the girl is coming with the H and M dress, can't really. Well, we're do saying the same thing. If you're coming with the fucking cheesecake factory, you ain't shit either. That's and fair. how would you know if mapping. my dress was H? You wouldn't know if her dress was H and M. That's fair. Yeah, yes. by that material, that. yeah, you could. But I yeah, know you're yeah. broke if but, you're taking me to McDonald's. But it shouldn't. What we're, <laughs> or what we should be getting at is that it shouldn't really matter about the material. Yes, it's cool and it's attractive and it's pretty and it's Remember? handsome. If you could do all this stuff, right? Yes. That's what people are going to gravitate towards. But everybody like the going off the numbers, like Kale said, the math ain't math and everybody's not doing it like that. So let's right. be honest. Let's be real. Like we said, everything matters, but nothing matters. It's, it's true. Word. All right. Truly unruly. Marcus Trufant, Jessica Trufant. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this episode. I did too. Uh, uh, follow these guys on social media. Uh, Marcus underscore Trufant, Jessica underscore Trufant on Instagram. Yeah. And you can follow the page, uh, all things social at truly unruly underscore podcast. Listen to us on your favorite podcasting platform. And remember to like and subscribe. You know, that helps us out a lot and leave a review with us on Apple Podcasts. And of course, catch the visual on YouTube. And we're on every Sunday on Converge. Boom. All right, y'all. Till next time, don't overstretch yourselves on those dates. Live within your means. <laughs> yes. Peace and much love.